Okay, I was five years old when he was killed. And so I never really got to know him. I do recall one time when he brought a pair of cowboy boots to me during one of his leaves. And uh, I remember this rather large frame uh, person and I can, I can still see that image. And uh, this is all I really know about him other than stories that were told by the family. He was uh, blasted by shrapnel in uh, all through the mid his midsection, and where I think most people, I assume, would be lying in a fetal position on the deck of that ship in pain, perhaps, and uh, not think about getting up, but. Uh, he crawled to the, back to the wheel of the ship and turned it so that torpedoes missed. I don't think this is something he had to think about. This is just something he did because it was in his character to do that. Okay, we as a family found out through a telegram that he had been killed. <clears throat> and of course, my parents cried, you know, and uh, the family grieved. And the uh, and then, uh, I guess it must have been a year later, we were notified that he was going to be uh, awarded a correct Congressional Medal of Honor. It's an act that no one could criticize you for not doing it, because it is something that no one would expect an ordinary human to do. Of course, there's a certain amount of pride, but I would have much rather had a brother than a medal any day. And uh, I think I missed a great deal of enjoyment uh, by not having a brother. <laughs>